Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Designer Talks. This week I'm joined by Beth and Potter. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm not too bad, thank you. How are you feeling about everything? Um, okay, like a little bit stressed. There are moments, but then I'm just trying to keep, keep with it. Keep it slow, yeah. yeah. Um, so can you tell us a bit about your collection? What's your vision? Um, so it's changed like quite a bit. I started off with just being really passionate about sustainability, um, getting away from fast fashion, keeping everything versatile. I think it's really important to have items of clothing that you can wear with a lot of different stuff and make it casual, make it smart. So I then was looking at uh, buildings um, and merging of the old brick really textural, really bulky, and then they mix it with this, like the clean glass and the steel columns. And I just found it really beautiful and interesting. So I've kind of then moved that to my collection with having big bulky wool and big round shapes mixed with these cleaner lines and just really looking at flowing of the lines and getting really textural with the brick and that kind of um, relationship that they have. Oh, amazing. Somebody put so much thought into that. I did. It took me a long, long time, but yeah. <laughs> I love that. I can't I wait to see that. That sounds amazing. Have you faced any challenges so far? Yeah, I'm, I'm not a natural designer, board maker. I am very much pattern cutting and the technical design. So when I came back after Christmas in January, I literally scrapped my entire lineup and I remade it and then I had about four remakes of the entire collection within a weekend. So I'm now mostly happy with it and that's just little tweaks but that is, I thought, probably the most challenging part is making sure that you're happy with it, to stay motivated with it. I think otherwise I just get a bit bored and then you just come in and you just stare at the wall, <laughs> not doing anything. Yeah. Oh, that sounds so intense, well, I'm glad that you've overcome that though. Um, what would you say is one essential item everyone should have in their wardrobe? Uh, I think definitely a comfortable jumper, like a woolen jumper. I think I like to mix it up. Sometimes I wear them with like jeans and you're comfy and you're cosy, but then you can throw it on top of a dress or a nice skirt and you, it's just very versatile, warm, but also like cool if you don't wear anything under it. And I just, yeah. Do you have any pieces of jewellery or a certain um, piece of clothing which means the most to you? Um, yeah, actually my uh, my necklace, mm -hmm. uh, it was an 18th birthday present from my parents. Um, it's a second hand mm -hmm. Tiffany mm -hmm. which I'll see. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Tiffany mm -hmm. Um Yeah, it's really important. It was like the big 18th birthday present and I actually, we bought it from the store that both my sister and my mother also got their 18th birthday presents from. Aww. So it was like the full circle and I've always been obsessed with Tiffany & Co since I saw the yeah. Actions film. Oh, oh, tell me about it. it. Yeah. Like, all you have is just like my the dream, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just amazing. Absolutely, couldn't agree more. <laughs> Who is your favourite designer and why? Um, I mean, obviously, I have quite a few. Um, the Couture, Dior, Chanel, uh, Balenciaga. I love what he does with pattern cutting. I think it's just phenomenal. Uh, but I also really like uh, Norman Hartwell, Hartnell even. Um, he actually is most well known for being the Queen's dressmaker. Uh, I was lucky enough to go and see the collection he did for her from literally the beginning of her reign to like the 80s mm -hmm. and they're just, they're just jaw dropping. The fabrics, the cuts and it was just, yeah, I really love what he does. That sounds incredible. Oh, that is amazing. Especially for the Queen as well. Oh, absolutely. You know, yeah. That's top mark to be honest. <laughs> Can't get much better than that really. <laughs> Do you have any plans after graduation? Do you know what you'd like to do? Yeah, I would really like to work further on my portfolio. Um, when you get that to the best of my ability, actually have time to do it. Um, and I would also like to do a full one year internship. Um, I think that would really help progress what I'm passionate about. And hopefully give me a better set, actually get me a good job. Yeah, one year internship, that'd be great. Do you have any ideas who you would like to do that internship um, with? I mean, I really like Hobbs London. Um, okay. I just love what they do, their shop. It's really, I find it very beautiful. It's quite um, vintage in the cuts, which I really like, but I also am a major knitwear person. Um, I love knit, so I'd really like to have a year of really developing knitwear, the pack cutting, learning all the types of stitches that you can do on machines, bringing in the hand knitting, um, and I think that would be just amazing, mm. to be honest. And I'd really love to get 
get a chance to do it Absolutely. before going into big wide world. <laughs> I know, it sounds like such an amazing experience. Um, what inspired you to get into fashion? Um, actually, my mum, my um, it's kind of weird because all my family are science based. So I grew up all science, medical, was, yeah, you could be like a nurse, you could be a doctor, go into that kind of thing. Um, but my mum used to live in Hong Kong for a while um, and she would make ball gowns out of this Hong Kong raw silk. Oh. And so she's always been sewing, always been knitting our entire lives. And it's just kind of, both me and my sister, we just do it. And I just seem to have more of a, a natural instinct with the 3D looks. Um, and yeah, like I went off it and I came back into it and I was like, yeah, actually, I suck at everything else. Oh, so I'm going to focus on this and I do just love it. It's just how my brain works. Oh, and I love just being able to look at something and go, yeah, I know how to make that. Yeah. It's just, it's a wonderful feeling. It yeah, really it's an incredible talent as well. Thank <laughs> you. You're really pleased with that. So that being said, what did you do before you came to university? I did an art foundation diploma. Uh, so that was a year. Um, really amazing. You know, you learn loads of different types of art. Um, those are techniques and then I focus on the fashion um, and before that I was obviously in college and I did science which turns out I do not, I'm not good at <laughs> A-level science, I can do GCSE and that's about it um, but I really loved my English literature and the art um, and yeah I kind of then realised I was like no, this, that was my, my blip of no I don't want to do fashion and then I was like no wait, yes I do. <laughs> yeah. So I then did my art foundation really put me in good stead for uni, I think. What are you most looking forward to um, with the show? Um, I think actually being able to see all six outfits actually in one space. Because at the moment you see them on the rail and they're all mixed up and you maybe have one or two mannequins with it up, but actually seeing all of them together, I think that would be really cool. Um, and a lot of my collection is so that you can mix and match a lot, keeping that versatility. Um, and I really would like to have all the garments made so I can just start moving things around mm. and like really just yeah and like make sure my family sees it all my friends you know they hear about it yeah. and I'd really love them to be able to go like oh yeah that's that's pretty that's pretty cool <laughs> they're gonna be wowed they're gonna be so proud it's gonna be yeah I'm pretty looking forward to yeah. it it'll be an amazing show I can't wait and um, thank you so much for joining me today and good luck with everything I cannot <laughs> wait to see your collection on stage um, that's all for this week. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to follow us on all our socials to keep up to date. Bye!